So these are what all of my expenses are looking like and I was gonna show you my envelopes that I'm using so I'll start with this one. I just ran and got this one out of my purse. I have my personal and this is the only one that I've been using. Even when I took a break, I still use my personal envelope because I had a bunch of money left over in here. Hi guys, big welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I've posted on this channel. It's probably been like five months because Jet is now four months old. This is my son. This is the reason why I went MIA for so long. It's been a lot adjusting to two kids and I've been really trying to keep up with my motherhood channel. So I've been doing motherhood and lifestyle content over on my new channel called Kate and Babes and I'll link that for you guys in the description box below and I'll also try to link it in the cards here too but I just reached a thousand subscribers on that channel. So that big goal is accomplished. I was really working towards that. And now I'm ready, I think, to start stepping back into this channel. It'll be slowly, I'm not gonna be making as much content as I was before, but I wanted to post this video just to show you guys what I'm doing to revamp my budget for 2021. I'm really buckling down now. We just bought a new house if you guys haven't been following my new channel. If you have been, you'll know that already because I've been posting a lot about that. And I'm gonna show you guys the remodeling process and everything that's going along with that, the decorating process. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so make sure you follow me over on my new channel. Hi guys, this is Future Kate just popping in to say that I would greatly appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. And also leave a comment down below of anything that you guys would like to see in future videos. I know I haven't been on this channel in a while, so I'm just trying to hop back into it and I would appreciate hearing what you guys would like to see again. So let me know in the comments down below. We just bought our dream home. It's a five bedroom, five bathroom home and we're totally revamping it. We're doing all new floors. We just painted the entire house and now we're in the process of waiting for the flooring to come in. So that way we can get the flooring laid, redoing the trim. And once all that's done, then we're gonna be able to start moving our stuff in and decorating. I cannot wait to set up my whole house. So I have some really fun stuff that I'm posting on my other channel, so make sure and check that out. But with that being said, I do wanna step back in to this budgeting channel because I have a lot of fun doing budgeting and planning videos so I really want to start doing that especially when we move into our new house I'll have a little office space set up and it'll be a lot of fun for now I figured I would show you how I'm revamping my budget for 2021 I just started making an excel file today I've been planning out my budget for a couple weeks here so that way I can get a good start at it in February but yeah I just want to show you guys what I'm doing so that way it can maybe help you too I'm not going to be using as much cash just because of COVID and everything, we haven't been going out to a ton of stores. We've been ordering a lot of stuff online, but we are going to be using the cash envelopes for a few categories, so I will show you guys that too. And I might even stuff them in this video towards the end. We'll have to wait and see what I have time for. So let's get started and I'll show you guys some of my tips and tricks for starting your budget for 2021. All right, so I am back today. I did not get to finish this video yesterday because I ended up getting a little bit busy and I wanted to really get my spreadsheets down and have exactly what I was doing so I could show you guys and I have them finalized now. So I'm going to show you what I've created. I'm pretty proud of it because I'm not very good at using computers, but I'm trying my best. I wanna stay organized and I kind of think this is the way to go right now seeing as I'm not using a lot of cash just because I'm not going out in public a lot. I'm mostly ordering things online right now as I'm sure a lot of you are too. So I think this will be helpful for other people as well as myself this month. I can't wait to see how I do. I think it's going to work very well for me, but we will see and I'll keep you updated. So now I'm going to show you what I did. I hope that you guys can see this all right. I'm recording my screen right now. So I'm on a MacBook and I have my expenses set up right now. So these are what all of my expenses are looking like and this is going to change in a couple months because like I said, we just got a new house and um, we're getting all that switched over with the mortgage and stuff. So this isn't like our final budget. This is just for the month of February and probably March as well. But yeah, so this is for February. This is our fixed expenses up here. We have our unfixed expenses here with groceries, toiletries, gas, and personal. And then for sinking funds, we have a bunch of sinking funds down here that I wanna focus on. I'm not saying that these are the only sinking funds that we're ever going to have, but just for this month, this is what we're starting with. And then I have down here how much our goal is to put into savings this month. And also this is not accounting for all of our income if you're trying to like add it up and see how much money we make. I'm not comfortable sharing um, what our income is. So we are keeping some private. We have money going into another savings account that we're using to fix up our house and 
to buy furniture and that kind of thing. So you're not going to see our budget for the house on here. This is just for all of our living expenses and for our sinking fund. This is showing almost everything we're spending money on except for the house. So we are keeping a separate log of that as we are buying things for the house. We're keeping track of that too. So here, this is where I'm keeping track of my spending. This is like a spending log on the computer. I'm just using numbers for this. It's basically like Excel, but on the MacBook, which I'm sure you guys know. But so this is my February budget. Here we have groceries. I'll kind of show you how I set this up. So I didn't put in my utilities on here. I'm just using this to track my spending for my expenses and for my unfixed expenses and my sinking funds. So I started with groceries. And here, there might be a better way to do this. If you guys know, you can let me know in the comments, but this is how I set it up. So here I have budgeted amount, and I put that on each category, and I typed in each budgeted amount. So as I subtract when I spend something, I'll just put a minus and whatever amount I spent. And then it subtracts it, and it shows the subtotal up here of what I have left to spend for the month. So for groceries, for week one so far, I spent... Today is February 1st. I spent $128.50, and that was technically yesterday in January, but these are groceries for this month, so I'm counting that as week one. So that's how much I spent, and if I go back to the grocery store, I'll just insert another line on here and type in what I spent that time. But as of right now, we're doing good on our budget for groceries. I think I have about $9 left in our grocery budget. We usually do $150 in our grocery budget, but I'm trying to only spend $550 this month to bring our grocery bill down a little bit to, I think it was $138. So I guess I have $9.50 left this week, or maybe I'll have a little bit extra for week four and I can stock some things up in my pantry. So next, toiletries budgeted amount $50, and just last night I had to stock up on some toiletries. We ran out of laundry detergent and dishwasher detergent. So I bought some, and that's going to last definitely a couple months at least. So next month I'll spend my budget on something different for toiletries. So $48 I subtracted, and it shows I have $1.50 left. So just as a little example, I'm going to show you for gas. So say I go ahead and purchase some gas here, and I'll just write in like February 3rd. And then I'll put, say I spent $40 to fill up my car. I will enter and watch what happens to this number right here. It goes down to $260. So then that's how it works. It just subtracts. But I didn't spend any money yet, so I'm going to erase that. Just wanted to show you guys. And then for my personal, I have budgeted amount $100. For gifts, we are budgeting $35. And this isn't going to keep track of Drew's personal because I don't want to have to ask him every time he spends his personal money. He'll just have that in cash. And when it's gone, then it'll just be gone. He doesn't really care. I don't think what he spends his on. But I will keep track of my own. We're going to get $50 each paycheck, so $100 for the month. For gifts, we are going to do $35.00. Um, per month. Usually we do 70. I accidentally did 35, but I think that'll be okay for a couple months here because we only have two birthdays in the next like three months. So that will be fine. And then we have kids clothing. I budgeted $100 per month for that. And I don't need any clothes for a while. So I'm just going to save this up until I do need clothing. For kids fun, I have budgeted amount of $50. And that will be for like activities for Bryn, for anything I want to buy that's not a necessity, but that's for the kids. For baby supplies, I bought Jet some teethers last night um, for $20. And I took that out of baby supplies because we're set on diapers and wipes for a while. So we still have $50 left. And I also don't have to buy formula because I breastfeed. So I budgeted $70 for the month for diapers, wipes, everything that I would need, soap, anything like that. But we're set on soap as well for the month. So I decided to take teethers out of baby supplies. If I was not set on baby supplies and I needed more money, I could have taken teethers out of kids fun as that's not like a necessity really, but I wanted to get them for him. So as you can see, my budget's flexible and I can kind of do whatever I feel is right. For our clothes, I budgeted $100 as well, and that will just save up until we need to buy something. Haircuts, we budgeted $20 per month. I only get my hair cut a few times a year and Drew gets his cut almost every month but sometimes he misses a month here and there so $20 is plenty. 
entertainment a hundred dollars and if we go get some food we can't really do anything right now because of covid but if we go get some food or something we have a hundred dollars also for valentine's day we can just use our entertainment fund because we're not having sinking funds for the holidays right now uh, we didn't end up doing that so we can just use our entertainment for that or our personal if we want to and then miscellaneous is a hundred dollars so if i didn't think of anything hopefully a hundred dollars will cover uh, whatever I didn't think of this month. Also, another pointer I wanted to give is when you're making your budget for the first time, I have past months to look off of because I have been budgeting for a while and I just took a break, so I can kind of know what my budget is, but if you're making your budget for the first time, make sure and give yourself some grace and don't expect it to be perfect the first month. It's kind of gonna be a trial and error. I would suggest tracking your spending for a month and just trying to buy what you need and see how much you're spending in different categories, especially groceries, see how much you're spending there and kind of see what's a realistic expectation that you can make your budget for. Don't try to put groceries at like $50 a month because that's not realistic. Kind of see how much you spend and then see if you could save money in certain areas and maybe you can challenge yourself and set your budget like $20 under what you've been spending and see if that works for you. And if you could save more then that's great but just make sure and don't set your expectations too high and try to cut each category by so much right away. If you go back and look at my unfixed expenses, those are the categories that I could cut more from. I could cut more from like kids clothing, our clothing. We could go without spending money on that for a while, but it all depends on what your budget is, how much you make. You wanna start with how much you make, take away all the necessities first and see how much you're left with. So take away your mortgage, your utilities, your groceries, those kind of things, your gas, take away all of those first and then see how much you're left with and that's how you can kind of pick and choose what sinking funds you're going to want to have. If you don't have enough income right away and you're wanting to put money in your savings, you might not want to have as many sinking funds right away like Christmas and birthdays. You might just want to focus on the essentials and work towards that first. So I hope that helped. I hope you can kind of use this in your own way because everyone's budget is going to look different, but this is just how mine's looking right now. Also, I do use a credit card because I like to earn points and I like to keep my credit built up, but I pay it off every month. It comes out of my bank account automatically. So I've never had a time where I have let my credit card just sit there and not get paid and then accrue interest so if that's a problem for some people i would suggest not using a credit card but that has not been a problem for me so i do like to use my credit card and i use my debit card as well just and drew only uses his debit card he doesn't use a credit card so i did before i made this budget i looked back at the past couple of months to see how much money i was spending on gas and groceries especially just to see what i wanted to set my budget at right now but as i said i have been doing this for a while so i did kind of have an idea already of how much would be sufficient to set my budget for for each category also another tip to encourage you to budget is to really sit down and think about why are you saving? What is the end goal? Are you saving for retirement? Are you saving to buy a new house? Are you saving to go on a vacation? What is the main reason that you wanna save money? And that will really help you to get motivated and to save up. I know Drew and I, when we first started budgeting, we set our goal to be able to save to buy a new house because we were living in a two bedroom, one bathroom house, very, very small. It was like 800 square feet. So we were saving to be able to move into a new house and that really motivated Drew. I've always been a saver and a budgeter, but Drew was not. So that really motivated him after he saw the main goal of why we wanted to save money. It really got him motivated to budget and to spend less. So that's a pointer that I wanted to give you. If you have someone that's not on board with budgeting in your household or that you share finances with, I would just say to try to sit down and talk with them about a mutual goal that you're both working towards that can motivate both of you to save money and that way it makes you both happy, you're both working towards something. That really helped Drew and I just wanted to share that as a pointer for you guys too. It's so weird to be back in my office. I have not filmed in here in a long time and I have not looked at my cash envelopes in a long time either. So I have them out here and I think I'm going to actually use quite a few of them, more than I thought. And I'm trying to make a plan right now on what I want to do if I have money left over in my envelopes. I may have certain envelopes that I just try to throw that money into savings and then I may have certain envelopes that I save up. It's just gonna kind of depend on the category. Maybe I will have a better plan and when I stuff my envelopes in the next video, maybe I'll tell you guys my plan then. But these are the envelopes that I want to use. Okay, I'm sorry my battery died, but 
I was gonna show you my envelopes that I'm using, so I'll start with this one. I just ran and got this one out of my purse. I have my personal, and this is the only one that I've been using. Even when I took a break, I still used my personal envelope because I had a bunch of money left over in here. And honestly, I still have a lot of money in here. I think I have like 300 or $400 because I don't really spend a lot of my personal money. So that's what I have. And then I have entertainment we'll be using as cash. Christmas we'll be using as cash just because I like to see physical amounts of money if there's something I'm saving for like for a long time. I think, I don't know. It's nice to see that. And then I don't look in my bank account and wonder like what all that money's for being saved up. So I have Christmas. I have Bryn's birthday, our birthdays, gifts we'll be saving up in cash clothing drew's personal i'll get out in cash and then i'll give that to him we have um our haircut we'll be doing in cash drew's beer slash food fund we didn't actually budget for this so we're gonna have to talk about that and see if he wants to do that again and then we will make more of a plan on that but yeah that's all my envelopes it's actually quite a few so i'll still have a lot that i'm stuffing but there will just be um, some that I'm not stuck. There's still some things I need to figure out. As I was saying, it takes a while to get your budget just perfect for you. And even then, I'm sure it'll never be perfect. But the positive thing is, is that I'm trying, I'm actually trying to budget now. And I was slacking for quite a while. So now I am back on the bandwagon trying to budget for this year. So that is going to be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my budget. And I hope maybe it helped someone. Maybe the spreadsheet helped someone. Or maybe it even just encouraged you to get back into budgeting this year. I plan on starting to make more videos on this channel. If you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see, make sure and leave it in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out my motherhood and lifestyle channel as well if you're into that kind of content. I will leave that linked in the description box below. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down to the channel before you leave. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!